Okay, so we talked about the seven fundamentals individually. Now I'm going to show you what the seven fundamentals should look like when you put them all together. Now I'd recommend that you do this dry fire, and all that means is that your weapon is unloaded. When I'm at home and I'm doing my dry fire exercises, I make sure that I unload the weapon and I leave an am the ammunition in a separate room from the room that I'm going to be doing my dry fire exercises in. So when I unload the weapon, I physically check the mag well to make sure that there's no mag magazine in there. I'm looking, I also physically check the chamber and I visually inspect to make sure that there's no ammunition inside of the chamber. I feel that this gun is unloaded. But just for that value added, I like to cycle the slide two or three times just to make sure I point the weapon in a safe direction and I pull the trigger. So now that we've determined that the gun is unloaded, now it's time to go through the dry fire drill. Now it's important that you make sure that you go slow so that you can focus on the technique. You can focus on every little thing that you're doing to make sure that it's correct. It should look. follow the thread down. Once I've determined that the thread is no longer a thread, I bring the gun into my workspace and it's time to search and assess. Now while searching and assessing, I'm looking to see if there's any more threats that need to be addressed. I come back to the initial threat that I had. If I still feel that that threat is no longer or still not a threat, I'll continue my search and assess. And I come back to this threat. Once I feel that there are no more threats that need to be addressed, I holster my weapon. So, when we're doing our dry fire exercise now at the range, the key is that you want to duplicate what you were doing at home on the range. I target down here, everything's gonna stay the same. I'm gonna do all the seven fundamentals. I'm gonna go just as slow as I did at home. I'm gonna have a good stance, Establish a good grip, good sight alignment, good sight picture, smooth press of the trigger. Reset, follow the target down, come into my workspace, search and assess. Come back to my threat, my threat's still down, search and assess again. Come back, holster. Pants, established a good grip, side alignment, sight picture, smooth trigger pull. Reset. Grip and my fundamentals feel great. Pull the trigger again. Reset. Everything seems good. Pull the trigger again. Reset. Everything feels good. Pull the trigger again. Checking my grip, reset, pull the trigger again. That's my fifth shot. I'm going to follow the threat down, come into my workspace. Threat looks like it's no longer a threat. Search and assess. Checking really good, looking for more threats. Come back to the initial threat, it's still down. Search and assess again. Come back to my threat. It's still no longer a threat, holster my gun. I go slow, focus on those fundamentals, focus on the technique and how to do it. Hopefully that helped you guys. Please comment in the comments below on how this has helped you. If it didn't help you, please comment as well and I'll try to help you as best I can. You can also check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Prevectus Group. So again, I'm Ken with Prevectus Group. Stay safe, train hard, and train often.